All right, hi everybody. Uh, today I wanted to try a project and I'm, it's something we're doing here in school for Martin Luther King Day. And in school we used construction paper and uh, we traced our hand on a piece of paper and had several different colors all piled on top of each other and cut them out. And then of course we cut out this heart in the middle with the famous quote from Martin Luther King, I have a dream. Uh, if you have construction paper and wanted to do this at home, I'm sure you'd be able to make a beautiful project like this and you could change it up however you wish. Uh, I'm gonna show you another version um, here that maybe you could do at home if you don't happen to have uh, colored construction paper. So I just have a piece of white paper here and I'm gonna do one with crayon and I'm gonna do another one with uh, watercolor paint. So what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna trace my hand my hand's a little big uh, to fit on this piece of paper, but yours might fit a little bit better. But I'm doing four hands. I'm gonna do a hand in each corner. So I got there and I'm gonna flip my paper. It might be a little easier that way. Another thing we're talking about in school right now is we're talking about color mixing. So mixing our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, to make secondary colors. You'll have to exclude, excuse the noise in the background. They're working on the PA system here at school. So uh, I'm gonna take some of these colors and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stop the video and then I'm gonna color them uh, in time lapse. So, all right, so I went ahead and I colored these hands in. I did a white, a black, a brown, and a yellow hand. And if you wanted to, you could decorate the background with all kinds of just uh, neat things. You could do hearts peace signs and all these little spaces you can color it in. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple things here. And I have a red piece of paper here and again if you don't have construction paper you could always use another white piece of paper or whatever you have laying around. You could use a piece of newspaper. And I'm going to fold this in half and I'm going to draw a heart shape on here but because I'm doing it in half just doing half of that, it's kind of like a fish hook. I'll cut that out. And I could glue this on here and on my construction paper version, we wrote the quote on there from Martin Luther King his famous speech, I have a dream. And I glued that right on here. I do have another one right here uh, that I did the same thing. I traced my hand multiple times. And with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of watercolor on there. So again, I'm gonna get my colors on here. And with this one, I'm gonna let the paint do all the work of mixing. Let me set my water, clean my brush off. Uh, if you don't have watercolors at home, you know, like I said, you can use marker, you can use crayon. Um, you could go to Walmart or the dollar store and they usually have some pretty inexpensive watercolor kits. And I think this is a nice way to, be do, to do some painting at home because watercolors, are generally not as messy as using maybe tempera or watercolor or uh, acrylic paint and these are nice and washable um, since i'm doing watercolors and don't have a lot of time i have to do this on camera i'm going to jump around because i want the paint i want to give it a second to dry before i overlap my colors the reason I'm using crayon is because crayon, uh, to do the outlining, is crayon is made out of wax and that will resist the water from the watercolors. 
so I won't have too much of the water colors trying to escape from these areas. Now I already adjusted the black, so the black is still wet. What I like to do is I want to see that brown and that yellow overlap, but I don't want to do that until maybe the yellow has gotten another little bit to dry, and I also want to not just swipe all that together because I'll end up getting some of that brown in my, or that yellow in my brown where I don't want it. So I'm just going to do that separately. I hope you guys take a second to maybe celebrate Martin Luther King Day and Black History Month. I'm sure there's lots of great YouTube videos out there that you can watch with your parents or your family explaining some of the history of why we celebrate these people on these days. So uh, I have that. Let's see if my yellow is too messy. Right there so I can see those colors overlap. The yellow and put it back in here. So I can kind of make my own third color. And again, I can take another piece of paper and do a heart and put that over top. I've got a big wet puddle there. Uh, we have a nice project there. So I hope you give this a try. Test I hope you enjoy one, two, three, four. Dan can hear me. Test one, two, three, four. All right. Uh, again, sorry about the loudspeaker. <laughs> and that's it.